Hi guys, it's Julian Hemmings here. Want to give you guys a couple of updates. Sheriff Fulton County just fired uh, Colonel John Jackson, Lieutenant Colonel uh, Derek Singleton, and Lieutenant Colonel Adam Lee. Um, these young gentlemen were jail staff and they were overseeing the prison. And the sheriff is saying that he's going to go ahead to clean house to make sure this just doesn't occur again. The family's attorney for LaShawn Thompson is attorney, um, attorney Harper. And the medical provider of the, the medical provider of the Fulton County Jail, who's also the medical provider of Gwinnett County Jails, is NAFCAR Incorporated. I want to make sure that we present all the information to you guys so you guys know how deep this goes. Uh, we really think it's important that you guys take this seriously. So go out there, share the video. We need you. Thank you guys. Have a good one. Well, today, three top ranking jailers, part of the sheriff's own executive team, are gone. They resigned after the sheriff asked them to step down. This comes just days after the family of LaShawn Thompson revealed horrifying evidence of how they say he died in his jail cell. 11 Alive's John Shearick has the story as the sheriff says this shakeup is just getting started. The photos just released from inside the Fulton County Jail showing LaShawn Thompson's cell, the bed bug infested cell where Thompson was being held for a misdemeanor charge, where he died this past summer. Photos that were part of the medical examiner's autopsy of Thompson. They are now part of the public outcry over conditions inside the jail that led Fulton County Sheriff Patrick Labatt to declare Monday, quote, it is past time to clean house. Out are three veteran members of the sheriff's executive team, the chief jailer, Colonel John Jackson, and two assistant chief jailers, Lieutenant Colonel Derek Singleton and Lieutenant Colonel Adam Lee. The Thompson's family attorney, Michael Harper, applauds the sheriff's actions. And yet, we have to say that the sheriff was aware of LaShawn Thompson's death back in September and, and the conditions in which he died back in September. So we do have to wonder if the international attention to this case. It's what made the sheriff make the changes. Sheriff Labatt was not available for an interview Monday evening. Ever since he took office in 2021, Labatt has decried conditions at the jail, which was built in the late 1980s. It's deplorable. It is, we need to treat people better. I have a duty. I took an oath. I have a duty to treat people humanely. Sheriff Labatt also now investigating to find out all those on his staff who might have failed Thompson. Attorney Michael Harper points to years of ongoing problems inside the jail threatening the lives of inmates and staff alike. But better late than never, and, and maybe to save another family from having to go through another tragic, unnecessary death. And Harper says he still plans to lead a protest on Thursday at the jail over conditions inside where LaShawn Thompson spent the final weeks of his life. In Atlanta, John Shearick, 11 Alive News. The sheriff says he would also like to find a way to terminate the jail's contract with its current medical provider, which is NAFCARE Incorporated. It is the same provider for the Gwinnett County Jail and is now named in a new lawsuit there. 26-year-old Dion Strayhorn died there in 2021 after his family says a stomach ulcer turned deadly. They say he complained of stomach pain for months but never got the proper medical care. We reached out to the company to ask for a statement, but we are still waiting on a response.